We are back, guys. Um, it's been a little while since I've gone ahead and done a little bit of van life. It's been a couple of months, and uh, finally, I've been able to get back into the great outdoors. And uh, today, we are in bright Victoria. Honestly, one of the best places to come to when it's autumn time because all the beautiful leaves just... Like, I'm under some really gorgeous trees right now, and I am obsessed. Not enjoying the fact that the birds are eating the seeds and the seeds are dropping on the van, but you can only do so much. <laughs> In today's video, we are going to be having a little bit of a van tour. If you've seen my previous van tour vlogs, you'll know that this is a very low budget van and I was never intending to actually travel in it. So I kind of wanted to show you guys what it looks like when you are doing it on a really, really tight budget and to show you guys what it looks like when you don't have a sprinter. When I first started out, I really thought that I needed to have a sprinter to be able to do van life. And that was part of the reason why I never thought I'd be able to do it in good old Murray. But uh, <laughs> that was wrong. So just to give a full disclosure, I probably only spent, aside from the cost of the van, I probably only spent about $200 getting this ready. And I did already have my mattress, which probably would have been the most costly item if I didn't already have it. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's have a little bit of a discussion about my van. So starting with the front area, I have not made any changes at all with the passenger and the driver's side. All I've got is my, usually my bin, which is sits out front there. So usually it's like a plastic bag or a very loud bird so usually i have my bin uh so that it would usually be a plastic bag or a macca's uh <laughs> paper bag depending on whether or not i went to macca's recently uh and that would be usually where i keep any like really small snacks and stuff like that for when i'm on the road and then from there i've obviously got this like little makeshift curtain <laughs> <laughs> which I very quickly added because I realized, oh, I don't actually have a curtain there. I do want to get rid of the cage eventually because I realized there were occasions where I wanted to climb through to the driver's seat while I was in bed and I wasn't able to. So it's something that I'm going to be changing in the future. But for the time being, got my little memento from when I was up in New South Wales with the sunflower that I got from Gorgeous Lucy. And then it's just got some uh, fairy lights as well just to highlight that area. Originally, I got these fairy lights thinking that they would be able to cover the entire van and I was extremely mistaken. So then I had to go to Bunnings to get some more. So these ones here were from Kmart and they're okay, but they're a bit flimsy. The rest of the lights I actually got from Bunnings and the quality was phenomenal and at least came with batteries, which was awesome because <laughs> the other ones didn't. So that was a bit annoying. Then, of course, I've got my mattress right behind me. It's only a single bed mattress, but that's all I need. It is a little bit annoying when other people are like, oh, they want to come with me on my travels because I really don't have a place for them. But that could be something that I could potentially change in the future. But when it's just me, it really doesn't matter. I can deal with a single bed and it at least gives me some moving room throughout the rest of the space. Sorry, there's a kookaburra just watching me. I'm like waiting for it to like laugh at me. <laughs> I actually use a queen size Duna cover for a couple of reasons. Number one, I already had one. <laughs> Number two, uh, I obviously already had Duna covers as well. Oh, look, there's another kookaburra. Oh my god, they're coming to watch me. <laughs> if you start hearing laughing in the background, it's because they're laughing at me. But anyhow, I already had Duna covers. It made it really easy for me. And number three, it also keeps me warm because I've got more to actually cover me. I do also have a sleeping bag as well. Because I haven't been traveling in the wintertime, it hasn't been too bad and I haven't really needed it. I only needed it once while I was up in the Blue Mountains. And that was a really, really cold night. But usually I just keep it stored here so it's easy access for me. And then in front of it, I've actually got all my toiletries. So... The one thing that I realized while doing van life is there's certain things that you need to have easy access to and then other things that it's not as much of a big deal if you don't have easy access to it. One of the big things I realized was you need to be able to reach your first aid kit with ease because <laughs> when an emergency happens, you need to be able to touch it. Uh, and I actually had a, a circumstance where that happened where I actually cut my finger in the middle of the night and I was like bleeding everywhere and I was trying to reach my first aid kit which originally was under the bed here. And now I've moved it to over here. So then it's a little bit easier access because when I was trying to pull it out partially because it's so large, 
uh, <laughs> it got stuck on the wheel and I couldn't pull it out. So I ended up bleeding all over the carpet and everything. <laughs> it was so bad. But anyhow, the things you learn. And then under here, as I said, I've got my first aid kit. Uh, what else do I have? So under here, I've also got some other easy access items that I need to use frequently. So that includes some clothing and also uh, camping chairs and also just a camping picnic blanket, which I didn't actually need, nor have I used yet. But you never know when you might need it. Probably never, but it's okay. And then at the side here usually is where I will keep my actual makeshift curtains which is just literally fabric and velcro with gorilla glue that is how i made them <laughs> and obviously they cover all my windows so going further down usually at the very very back is where i'll keep all my food all of my kitchenware and all that sort of thing because i'm not really using this area here as a kitchenette when i was traveling i actually had the esky behind my passenger seat here because it actually fit perfectly between the cage and the passenger seat and made it really easy for travel i did that on the way up to new south wales so that was a good couple of hours but then once i was just like hopping between places i found it really annoying putting it back there so i actually ended up putting it at the back with the oil that i had to buy because murray just likes to guzzle oil apparently and all the other kitchen items as well so everything stays back there keeps it really simple the only time that it gets a little bit annoying is like when i want a snack in the middle of the night and that was where i started having problems because i couldn't reach there because i couldn't quite like get my hand underneath and pull something out and then all my other snacks were behind the cage so i'll just go to bed hungry or i'd have to get out of the bed and be cold for a solid two minutes oh, oh hi cookie did you not know I was here? Oh no, you just saw a giant bug. I'm just making friends here, you know. I'm getting cold, but you know, we're making friends. <laughs> oh, he's staring at me. I don't have no food. <laughs> Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.